In 1972, a mini UFO was captured by a schoolboy and it was taken two photographs by his friends. Here you see the photographs in which you can see a real image of the mini UFO. Or, as far as I may be concerned, the UFO in these two photographs is the only one UFO which I'm sure is a real UFO. I, Hiroshi Hayashi, would like to explain why it is so here in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real UFO and its photograph taken in the Kera UFO capture incident which occurred in August 1972 in Kera, Kochi City, Japan. UFO capture incident, Japan. On the afternoon of August 25th, 1972, a 13-year-old junior high school student named Michio Seo sighted a strange object flying above a rice field while walking home from school. From a distance, he watched a small, mysterious object zigzag quickly around the field like a bat chasing insects. This incident, which is now called Kera UFO Capture Incident, occurred in 1972, just 44 years ago, back from now, when few people believed this story and none had an idea about such and such small UFOs in those days. After 44 years now, in 2016, however, this type of small UFOs have been spotted by more and more people all over the world, small UFOs the size of which are between 10 to 30 centimeters in height and length, while at the same time it is getting more and more popular than ever before. This fact indicates that the story of Kera UFO capture incident is now to be proved to be true. UFO no shashin wa kazu ouku demawatte imasu ga watashi Hayashi Hiroshi wa kono shashin ni utsutte iru UFO koso ga honmono no UFO no shashin de aru to kakushin shite imasu. So, kakushin suru liu ni tsuite wa kono ato ni tsuzuku douga no naka de sesmei shimasu ga kore ra 2 mai no shashin wa kera UFO hokaku jiken no toki ni sono UFO o 捕獲した少年たちによって捕らえたものです。じっくりとご覧ください。広島林浜松ジャパン。というのはそれこそ今では日常茶飯事的に世界中で起きています。まあその中でも特に最近増えてきたのが小型UFOを目撃事件です。目撃と言ってもですね、実際に目撃したのではなくて、例えばビデオカメラなどでですね、景色を撮っていて、そして後でそのビデオカメラを再生してみたら映っていたという事件です。まあそうした事件が近年増えているということですね。まあ特徴は
って、多くの人たちは、子供たちの子供たちの、まあ、見間違いか、作り話だろうというような形で、片付けてしまっていたように思います。が、それから44年、こうして、小型 UFO、目撃、事件って言いますかね、そういった報告がたくさん上がってくるようになりますと、あの1972年のあの事件は本当であったということになるのではないでしょうか。時に謎は時代の流れの中で多くの人たちの真摯な努力によって証明されるということになります。そういった意味でもう一度あの高知市、ケラ地区で起きた UFO 捕獲事件を眺め直してみたいと思います。子供たちは懸命にその時の様子を私たちに伝えようとしています。そんな子供たちの心をもう一度私たちは、なんて言いますか、謙虚な気持ちで振り返ってみる必要があるのではないでしょうか。今ご覧いただいたのがその模型ということになります。ケラ、UFO、捕獲事件は本当にあったということになります。Hello, this is Hiroshayashi, Japan. Thanks to ATS USA. Kera UFO incidents. Boys captured a mini UFO. The strange encounter took place in Kela area of Coach City. On the afternoon of August 25, 1972, a 13 year old junior high school student named Michio Seo sighted a strange object flying above a rice field while walking home from school. From a distance, he watched a small mysterious object zigzag quickly around the fields like a bat chasing insect. Later that day, Michio told his friend about the curious flying object. UFO had yet to become a household word in Japan in 1972, but the boys were intrigued nonetheless. At around 7 o'clock p.m., four of them set out for the rice field in search of the object. About an hour later, they spotted the object flying over the rice field, lighting up the night with a pulsating silver light. When one of the boys tried to approach the object, it suddenly made a loud pop sound and started to glow blue. Frightened, they turned and fled without looking back. Over a week later, at 9 30 pm on September the 4th, several of the boys once again saw the bright object in the rice field, and two days after that, On September the 6th, the boys and a few of the friends found the object on the ground in the field. It appeared to have crash landed. One of the boys, a 14 year old boy named Hiroshi Mori, picked up the object with his hand and carried it back home. The silver hat shaped object weighed 1.3 kilograms and measured roughly 7 centimeters tall and 50 centimeters in diameter. The bottom surface was perforated with an array of tiny holes and imprinted with designs depicting what appeared to be a bird, some waves, and another flying object. Something rattled around inside the object when shaken. That night, Hiroshi wrapped the curious object in a plastic bag and placed it inside his backpack. Later, however, the object mysteriously vanished without a trace. 
Before long, the boys encountered the object again. They once again captured it, but it soon vanished. This happened about five or six times over the next two weeks. On one occasion, the boys decided to pour water into the holes of the bottom. The object emitted a loud cicada like buzzing sound and glowed brightly inside. Later, when they ran some wire through the poles and dangled the object upside down, the top and bottom sections of the object became slightly separated. Through the opening, they could see what appeared to be electronic component. Seo, Mori, Fujimoto, Kojima, and Yuji would occasionally visit the field following their sighting, and on September the 4th, just over a week after their initial run-in, their patient paid off. At about 9.30 p.m., the five young men once again came face to face with a silvery object flying nearby three feet above the field. The little UFO started glowing and began to zoom towards the boys, causing them to scatter and once again retreat with haste. Once home, the boys reclaimed their courage and vowed to procure a camera and spend every waking moment they could staking out the field in hopes of finally capturing the unusual object on film. Their surveillance began the next evening. But the object did not return. The following night, however, would be a different story. On September the 6th, the boys' vigilance paid off when, on their way to the rice paddy, they spied the object lying on the ground in the middle of the field before them. The teenagers, now armed with a camera, sagely decided to snap a photo before they approached the downed craft. Once the flash bulb went off, the object on the ground began spinning and rapidly rose into the air. The unknown cameraman shot another photo just after its accession. This is where accounts get a little murky, but what seemed to have happened next is that the object emitted a light that was even brighter than the flash bulb burst before once again plummeting to the ground. The still spinning object almost seemed to be burrowing into the dirt when it stopped moving. At this point, 14 year old Hiroshi Mori cautiously moved toward the incapacitated flying saucer. The brave boy decided to bend over and lift the object up with his bare hands. As he did, he claimed that he felt something moving inside. On the night of September the 22nd, Hiroshi was riding his bicycle with the object in the basket when it suddenly disappeared. They never saw it again. This is the whole story I can tell you for today. Thank you very much.